<laughs> All right, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a fun one. So what we're gonna do is, if you look online like Amazon, what's the difference between an M.2 SATA drive and an M.2 NVMe PCIe drive? It's a mouthful right there. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna build an external enclosure and we're gonna find out the speed difference. It's quite a, quite a bit actually. And there's some other things that cause the speed to be different too. Let's get into it. Okay, and stay with me through this video because we are gonna show you the actual speeds connected to an external device of both of these M.2 drives to show you the difference, and there's a major difference, so stay tuned for that. All right, so if you watch my channel, you know I do some videos that are kind of off the beaten trail. I like to do a lot of tests and a lot of things that other people may not do. They always get the big tech, and I usually get the small stuff. So what we're gonna do today is, let's just say you're out and you're looking at Amazon, and obviously everyone knows what a SATA drive looks like. This is a 2.5, this is from PNY, but it's basically a 2.5 inch, you know, normal hard drive that you see all the time. It's SSD, and uh, that's one that we're kind of common. But let's just say you wanna build an external hard drive, and you're looking at, you know, these M.2 drives. And these are the little stick drives, and I'll have some pictures up here. You can kind of go ahead and take a look at those, but those are what they look like. They're basically little stick drives. And uh, they're a lot faster in some cases than the one I just showed you, the normal 2.5 inch hard drive. So long story short, I bought two of them here. I actually bought an A-Data, and this is an M.2 SATA drive right here. And I bought a Kingston, this is an A2000, and uh, this is an M.2, they call it NVMe PCIe drive. So this is, they're both M.2s, but one's a SATA over here, and one's an M NVMe PCIe. And that's actually this one. So if you're, these are basically the same form factor, which I'll get into. And uh, so if you're buying something for an external drive or even for your internal computer, what's the difference between these two and what, it's, it's actually considerably huge. All right, so for this example, we're gonna be building an external, a couple external hard drives. And so there's the speed of the drive that you have to deal with, and then there's also gonna be the speed of the connection or the enclosure. And those are two different things. But for the speeds of the drives, just on a normal 2.5 inch, this is a normal, like, you know, flat, typical drive that you'd always see. Not a, this is not a stick drive. This drive here, this is a theoretically connection, you know, th theoretically it's gonna be um, around 600, the top 600 megabytes per second. And uh, so you're talking about, um, you know, it's real world experience. These are gonna be like anywhere from 400 to 500, somewhere in that range. So you're gonna get four to 500 megabits per second read and writes on these. That's about the theoretical, theoretical limit of those. Now the difference here though is, you know, again, the SATA drive now, that's, these are now the M.2 drives. And the two M.2 drives, they're both M.2, and M.2 actually refers to really the, it's more of the, the size of the drive or the physical, you know, basically size of the drive. And I'm gonna put up some information here and I'll explain exactly what this means and you can see what M.2 means because these are both the exact same size. They're like the size of a stick of gum, basically. So let's figure out what that means up here. All right, so really quickly, so M.2 drives, see right here, they can either be SATA M.2 or NVMe PCIe M.2, so that's just the size of the M.2. All M.2 drives below various sizes, so these are all M.2 drives right here, all four of these. And if you look at the last two digits, is the length of the drives in millimeters, so look down here. See 2280 right there, 2260. 2280 means that 80 there, if you go over here, 80 equals 3.5 inches, I'm sorry, 3.15 inches which is right here. So this, this basically number here relates to how many millimeters it is in length, which here it is in inches. So 60 over here again would, would you know, 60, this is 60 millimeters here. This is 42 millimeters, this is 30 millimeters. So what's the reason why these are all M.2 drives, but they're different lengths? Well, the reason's over here. So the larger size fits more NAND flash storage. So each of these modules, it can fit more storage on it. So larger SSDs is number one. And then also there's different sizes to fit smaller computers and devices. So in a nutshell, that's why this is the way it is, but M.2 is just the form factor. All right, now that we got that out of the way, the size difference there, these are gonna, you know, one's gonna be a SATA, actually this one, and one's gonna be an NVMe PCIe. So the actual, this is a SATA one, it's the small stick drive, but this is actually a SATA connection, so, so is this. So this other, this normal drive that you always see, like the, the you know, the 2.5 inch drives, and this little one, these are both SATA. So these are gonna have this, the same theoretic limit of about 600 megabytes per second. And theoretically, those are gonna be more in the 500s in real life. So this is only gonna have about 500 megabytes per second, somewhere in that range. And we'll test it, stay tuned for the testing later. We're gonna definitely test all this stuff out and I'll show you exactly what they run. This one here is gonna be the, the M.2 
PC, uh, M.2 NVMe PCIe drive, and it's going to be, again, the same dimensions as this one, but it's completely different. So this one theoretically has, uh, you know, nowadays they can get up to 3,500 megabytes per second. Um, anywhere from usually 1,200 to 2,400 megabytes per second is typical versus only 500 over here. So you can see the huge difference here. And I'm going to show you the real world example when I set these up, but that's what you're dealing with when you're looking at these two types of drives. They look the same. They're both M.2. They're the same size. But look for the SATA is, is slower than the actual one over here. All right, so this part's going to be a little more tricky. Stay with me. So we already went through the speed of the drives. And if you connect them directly to your motherboard, you can kind of expect those speeds. But what we wanted to do in this video is we're building an external kind of a backup drive or something that you connect to your computer. So we need an enclosure. I have an enclosure back here. You can see it here. It's hard to see because it's connected. But it's for my NVMe or my M.2 drives. That's what it holds. So that can enclosure those a limiting factor. So when I am buying an enclosure like that, you can either get um, one that connects at five gigabits per second or 10 gigabits per second. And without getting into all the math and stuff, if you get one at five gigabits per second, you divide that from bytes to bits or what have you, and you have to divide that by eight. So the theoretical limit of that is gonna be about 625 megabytes per second. If you get the one that has a connection speed on your external drive and it says 10 gigabits per second, Divide that by eight, and that comes out to about you know 1,250. So even in the best case scenario, if you get a 10 gigabit per second external connection on the one I have behind me, and you put a really fast drive in there that's even capable of 2,500 megabytes per second, the highest you're going to get is 1,250 because it's limiting that enclosure is limiting the speed of it. And on top of that, you usually have to shave off a bunch of that just because of overhead and stuff. So if you can get like 900 to 1,000 on an external drive, that's really fast. Again, you want to get the 10 gigabit per second cabling connection between the drive and your computer, and that's the limiting factor when you're dealing with external drives. Or really quickly, if you're online looking for these things, here's one from B&H. So you're looking for an M.2. If you scroll down here, let's take a look at this. First of all, it gives you all the sizes. You can see I talked about that earlier, 2230, 2242. You can fit into this. But if you scroll down, you're always going to find down here, it says equipped with a 10 gigabit per second USB. There it is. There's the 10. That's the connection speed that I'm talking about. So I just wanted to throw that in there. It's always under, whenever you're looking for an enclosure, it's always there. All right, so now we're going to do a speed test. Here's the three different drives, but the two on the right are the ones we're going to be testing. Those are both the M.2. The one on the left is just a normal, you know, two and a half inch. I just want to show you the size. So the ones we're going to be testing is the A-Data and the Kingston drive on the right compared to the quarter size, see how small they are. And then you have the, the typical 2.5 inch on the left. So here they are. If you notice in the very middle, see where the connectors are. On the left, that's actually the NVMe uh, PCIe. And then on the right is the SATA. Look at the difference in the connection types. See those? They have a, a couple different holes. So the A data, which is the SATA connection, has two different holes in it, and that actually can typically connect into an NVMe, uh, you know, enclosure. But you can't go the other way. See how the Kingston only has one notch on it over on the right. So they're different connector types, and uh, you know the Kingston's going to be faster. Here's the actual uh, enclosure itself, and see the two little holes there. It's showing little arrows. That's the SATA connection. So SATA would easily fit into this, but the N the M.2 NVMe PCI would not. So let's take a look at that. And then if you look at the other one here, this one's going to be for the NVMe drive, the faster drive. It's only got the one little slot there on the right. See that? It's got all pins, but just one slot. So that actually fits, you know, the one that we're talking about. So there's some differences here you need to know about when you're buying this equipment. I just wanted to show it to you really quickly. All right, so let's go ahead with the speed test. I'm going to have links to both of these drives. Here's the first one. This is going to be the, it's still an M.2. See it here? It's the SATA drive. Here's the size of it, 2280. This is the drive we're going to be testing. You know, I'll have a link to this, you know, in my description. It's about 35 bucks. So let's go ahead and go over here. Let's pull Black Magic. And what we want to do first of all, this is going to be the slower of the two, both M.2, but we're going to go ahead and make sure we select the actual right drive here. So I'm going to go into here. It's the A data right there. See it? And I'm going to click open. And then let's go ahead and start the speed test again. We, we know the theoretic limit is 600. It's going to probably be below that. So let's see what we can get on this external drive. So it's about 393 on the writes and about 425 right around there on the reads. So that's about what that we expected. It's going to be always be lower with overhead. So there's the first test of that first SATA M.2. All right, so here's the Kingston drive right here. It's the same size. It's the A2000. This is still an M.2, like we said, but this is going to be the NVMe PCIe drive. So it says it goes up to 2,000 megabits per second. What we, you know, obviously it's not going to be that fast. We'll show you in a second. But the price is 44.95. 
4449. I just got it for $10 less about a week ago. I'll have links to this. Long story short, let's go ahead and pull up Black Magic now down here. What we want to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure we're on the right drive. So select target drive. We're going to select the Kingston one right there. So this is the drive. Now keep in mind that this is, it says up to 2000 though, although we're going through an external connection, which the top there, like we said earlier, would only be 1250, but it's going to have overhead, but it should be faster than the SATA one. So let's go ahead and start the speed test. Look at this. 900 on the writes and 935 on the reads. Quite a bit faster, like we said. It's hitting that kind of like overhead threshold, but this is an external drive. If you connected this into your motherboard, it would be faster, but there you go. I'm gonna just show you the, the difference here is pretty extreme. All right, so I hope it helped everyone going through this today. I mean, obviously there's all these different drive types. You know, you have the normal standard 2.5 inch SATA connection, you know, that's gonna be typically of all the drives you've seen for the last maybe 10 years. Then you have these new bubblegum stick drives you can see, and they're not the actual same. One's an M.2 uh, SATA, and it's a lot slower. One's the M.2 NVMe PCIe. It's faster, but you need to have a fast connection if you're gonna use an external drive to even get this speed. So those are things you gotta watch out for. I hope this helped everyone though. Um, I make these kind of videos, and it's, you know, there's a lot of information to kind of go through and not put people to sleep, but hopefully you stayed with me. Hopefully you can subscribe to my channel as well. I make you know three or four videos a week and I try to make them as informative as possible. I don't have all the big, uh, I can't get all the new stuff like everyone else, so I kind of get what I can get and do some informative videos on that. So definitely subscribe to my channel if you can. Help me out, I'll talk to you soon. Peace.